I'm calling it a day. It's it's been a rough week. And it's only just begun, you know. Yeah. Well, at first we had the necklace stolen right out of the museum case, and my uncle's suicide. It's been a doozy. You know, I had to go pick it up. He left me that car in the so-called suicide note. I was so sorry to hear about your uncle. Such a way to die. Trying it off a cliff. What are you going to do with two cars? Yeah, right now I got to park in the garage. It was his pride and joy, you know. He was into car collecting at one time. Do you think he actually intended on driving it off? It's hard to say. You know, he never came around much. Uncle Wallace and my dad never got along all that well. Too bad your dad wasn't here. He was a great detective. Yeah, indeed he was. Excuse me, sir. We're looking for Detective Murphy. Ah, uh, oh, you're looking right at him, standing right in front of you. What can I do for you? Oh, that's so great. Well, here's the thing. Someone stole my wife's favorite brooch out of her home, and it has a lot of value to us, a lot of family. It's very, it's priceless. And I just really want to get it found before it gets sold off and lost forever. I don't know what we would do without it. Can you help us right now? Do you I, have any time? I'm really sorry. I, I just don't have much time right now. Will um, you come over tomorrow then? We have uh, meetings until 3 o'clock. Okay. Uh, just leave me your address and uh, shall we say 4 o'clock? Yeah, that sounds good. Thank you. Uh, you're, you're welcome, Mr. Denton. Frank Denton. And this is my wife, Bonnie. Ma'am, we'll see you then. Thank you very much. Get out of that car. After I saw. Hey, Anson, do you want me to say something? Uh, yeah, sure. Thanks a lot, kid. Ms. Denton, nice to see you again. You too. Should I get you some coffee? Oh, no, thank you. I'll take your hat. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Would you like to have a seat? That would be very nice, thank you. One thing, though. Uh, when I first pulled up, whose car was parked in the driveway? I don't know what you're talking about. Detective, Mr. Denton, good to see you. You too. All right. Well, let's get started. My brooch was in my jewelry box upstairs, but we don't know how he got in. Okay, so um, when did this burgling occur? Uh, it was about two nights ago, I'd say. Okay, and uh, have you had any visitors in the last two, no, three no. days? So, what was that car doing in your driveway when I pulled up? You know, when I, when I first pulled in, there was a car backing down your driveway. No, I don't. I think you're mistaken, sir. There was no car. Okay, well, someone left your house as I pulled up, and I want to know who it was. Look, I can't help you unless you tell me everything. Just help us get the necklace back. I thought you said it was a brooch. It is a brooch. She did say it was a brooch. No. No, you just said it was a necklace. Why do you keep looking at the clock? Do you have some place to be? No. Nowhere. We don't have anywhere to be. We're not looking at the clock. Uh-huh. Yeah. You guys are coming with me.
Stop right there. Yeah, you look familiar, but uh, I'm guessing your name isn't Bonnie. Hi, it's Beatrice, Bonnie's twin sister, and that belongs to us. Your uncle was supposed to hide it for us until we were cleared, but he stole it. What are you talking about? I think your uncle really committed suicide. He was a crook, but he was also a greedy coward. I guess it stems from being the brother of the most persistent detective on the force. Yeah, well, you're under arrest. And so are Frank and Bonnie. 